because I was feel so sick right now. Is it easy? I've put lots of tears into my recovery. Mood has gone up. Dieting mentality is being shut out. <laughs> I used to do videos related to my eating disorder a lot. Not a lot, but like more than I have recently. I don't want to just ramble on this whole time because I tend to do that. So I'm going to be looking off of some notes I made and hopefully keep me on track. Two plus years into anorexia recovery. That is a while. I'm ready to say I used to see that as like a really long time. It still does feel like pretty long, but like I feel like times felt like sped up as I got older. Not that I'm like that old, I'm only 15, but you know. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of ups and downs involved with an anorexia. It's a very long recovery. Like, you may get your body back in like a healthy position. I think I've hit that by now, but like I still have to be careful. And it's definitely like a mental battle. Okay. Honestly, I don't remember very clearly how life was before anorexia. It's kind of like, I don't remember how life was in that really like before COVID, you know, it was kind of hard at times to remember that. It's the kind of same thing with this. Like, I don't remember what exactly it was like to not like stress over everything I eat. It stresses me out because it's hard still at times and but I need to get through it. And so that's why it stressed me out a bit. So if you don't know what anorexia is, it's an eating disorder. Basically, I was like starving my body for a while there's a lot of like social norms and stuff where like people say you need to be a certain way or like have a certain lifestyle but the truth about that is like everyone has a different body type and a different version of healthy for themselves like, everyone has a different version of what healthy looks like for them obviously like not eating enough with me is not healthy <laughs> it can be called healthy because it's like dieting but that's not really healthy what i did was i took dieting like the idea of dieting and i wanted to be quote healthy and obviously that is not the case i had to refeed my body i'm still like working on that like recovery you can go like this you have ups and downs and you can be like in a really good place and then drop and then you have to like refeed yourself and get, get up back up to that place if that happens Recently, actually mostly since spring break, honestly, like that gave me like a new hope to things I feel like. There's just a lot of things in spring break. We went to California to see our cousins. That area of California that we were, I looked around and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Like how have I not realized how amazing it is here yet? And I have a cousin that is going for a nursing degree and that's kind of like what I want to do after high school. And so like realizing that I could have a future in that area, I guess. And like the excitement of that and like being a new place but also like i don't know i just like felt like i guess i could just see myself in a place like it there or in a place similar to where we were in the future that kind of gave me some hope and i was able to like have a bigger appetite eat more you know and that really helped get back out of a rut that i was in kind of recently recently there's been a lot of changes in my life within a span of like three weeks my sister left on her mission for our church is 18 months long and my older sister and i are like very close and that was really really hard to see her go to have her not here because like i turn to her a lot and i love having her around obviously things happened i think around that partially but also things have been going on for a while that caused me to feel like I needed to break up with my boyfriend and so I broke up. That was the next week, I'm not entirely sure, but around that time I also like disowned my therapist. <laughs> I call it disowned because that's, I don't know, that's kind of how I see it, I'm just like we're done with you. A lot of things happened that like my life didn't feel in a stable place because things were changing around on me. And so I kind of went on one of those downward leaps. <laughs> I ended up kind of in a rut and it was not great, but I've been pulling myself out of that and finding more motivation, I think. And like, I think something that's really helped me is focusing on the good in these in changes. Like obviously I miss my sister and I don't really see how it's good that she's gone, but she's like doing something that 
is really fulfilling and really good and there's so many blessings that can come from that and then with the boyfriend him and i are kind of still friends like we're i think we're still friends i'm not entirely sure how he feels on his side like each relationship is different and each way they end is different but i did feel like it was getting to an unhealthy place and now like separating myself from that relationship and finding like my identity within myself like that's been really fun and motivational to me and new and just like i realized that i need to work on myself as a person and not like, i was kind of relying who i was on the people i cared about around me and not so much like finding out how i feel personally and trying to find the motivation and good in these changes and been really motivated recently and that makes me really happy and that makes eating easier emotions really affect how i eat that's like a problem I have with this is when I'm upset, like some people turn to eat more food, others like doesn't affect their diet, they do other things to cope. For me, I turn to not eating, like I just don't want to eat when I'm upset. And I guess it's just a matter of like I have to pull myself out of that and be like, no, you have to eat. It can be really challenging, so I think that is why I kind of went downhill recently, but now I'm back up content for the moment on how things are going it's in a nice place where I am. How I see that things going in like future, like near future and far future, well in the far future I do see myself like coming out of this strong like I already have in a lot of ways, but like coming out of it even more, like even more strong and like, I don't know, I feel like I've gained a lot more understanding and knowledge on like health and feelings and things like that. I see myself like being able to look at things differently and maybe help others in the future. I, and I mean, I've also been going through, not been going through, I've been going uphill with like mental health in other aspects as well, but I have dealt with lots of depression and anxiety. And I feel like anxiety definitely has been ruthless recently, but like the depression, I've been kind of taking that down a bit. Like I've been improving with that. I think weather definitely has to do with it because where I live it gets like really gloomy in the winter and that's really hard but the sun's coming back out so that's been helpful. I get seasonal depression pretty bad still. These things help me like be more understanding to other people's situations and I feel like that is a blessing. I see myself not having to stress so much over eating. I like being in more of a stable habit of what I eat. I've been like trying to see food recently instead of just being like oh my i need to feed myself and stuff like that i've been seeing it more as like i'm trying to see it as fuel to like get more energy because i dealt with like really low energy before and i've been trying to see that and like i need to do better with drinking water too i've been trying to see it all as like fuel and energy so i can be happier more motivated and not just more energetic i've been trying to see it that way so i think in the future i also will be able to see it more like that as well and like use it like that and it, i think I don't know, I see a lot of hope in my future. And obviously there's like so many things I want to go do after high school. I want to have a great experience in high school. I mean, it has been pretty good, but I want to keep that going, figure things out for myself through this. And yeah, in the close future, I know that it's going to keep going like this because that's like how it goes. But I feel like it's like going like that, but also going up like overall. Like anorexia, it doesn't just have to do with food like it also like it affects so many different things like mentally and physically that and that can just affect like all aspects of your life i see myself overall just like going on up to happy places and i'm just yeah things that have kept me going strong and things that have brought me down i kind of mentioned this um sunshine definitely really helps me like overall but i think when Something that really has brought me down and I realized this is I started seeing it as like, oh, I'm not like normal around food. Why can't I just like be quote normal and not have to stress about food? Like I look at people who just eating comes so naturally. I just labeled it as normal. But that made me feel awful because I was just like, oh, I'm not normal. I don't get that same privilege to like feel that. I would focus on that and that would make me upset. And I'd just be like, why can't I just give up on this meal? And just like other people can be like, no, I'm done, you know? 
and I had to keep going and I hated that for a while. But as soon as I like started being like, no, we don't need to think about it that way. Stop labeling things as quote normal and stop like labeling yourself as like having issues, I guess. And yeah, I'm just perfectly imperfect. And that is great how it is. And I just need to keep trying so I can get to that future that I envision myself in and I want to work towards. Something else that has really helped is religion. I do believe in Christ and God and I feel like as I've turned more to them, that's when I'm most like at peace with things. And then when I like start to turn away or like get more, I, don't know, I guess I would call like lazy with like scripture study or like praying, that's when I get like more down on myself, I feel like. Every Christian will go through like ups and downs of their faith, you know, and that's kind of how it is. But I feel like when I'm at my lowest, part lowest, like I realize I haven't been relying enough on my faith. And when I turn back to it and like I rely fully on my faith and like kind of like cling to it, cling to God, cling to Christ, that's when I can come out of it the most. I'm trying to like keep my prayers up, figure out exactly where my faith stands and not just rely on everyone else's testimonies but find my own, you know. My mom said something the other day I really liked. I don't remember the exact warning, the warning, <laughs> the exact wording, but it was something like, on the lines of like you get closest to christ when going through trials because like what better way to like get close to christ than to like cling to, have to like cling to your faith and cling to him and like get through trials through that that builds up your faith a lot more continuing like trying to be better every day and just knowing that you never can mess up too much that he won't love you anymore and you can always turn back and like improve through him that gives a lot of hope Life overall with anorexia and like, I still do go to doctor appointments, but they're not as frequent as they were like in the beginning, obviously. I have come a long way since when I, where I started and I don't want to give that up. And so that also keeps me going. And I've just found a lot of strength through it. And yes, I definitely have days, like my parents can definitely tell you I have days where I'm just like, I give up, like stop, like, we're not nope we're not doing this anymore but then you i just have to like pull myself back and like my family has really helped with that my friends have really helped with that god has really helped with that just need to get back up again and keep going and i did find another therapist um at first i really didn't want to i was just like can i just be done with therapy like after how i felt with my last one at times like I'm just like, can I be done with therapy, please? Like, I can be my own therapist, whatever. Like, I don't want to have to talk to someone about it, all my feelings and stuff anymore, but it's part of my recovery plan. I can't just let it give up my therapist. And it is really good for you to go to therapy. And so, yeah, it's basically forced to find another therapist in my life. But you know what? My new therapist, like, I love her. She's awesome. She. I feel like I can really open up to her and that she really has like helpful insights to everything. And so, yeah, found new therapist, that's good. Um, going to doctors and dietitians still. Honestly, not my favorite thing in the world, but you know what, we're gonna just keep going, get through it and it's fine. Yeah. I've come a long way over the years and I'm definitely a lot happier of a person than I was when I started recovery, when I didn't know what was going on with me. Whatever you're going through, like there's ups and there's downs and it's a rocky road, like trials happen. You can come out stronger from them and just take them one day at a time. I have times when I definitely like just want to give up and give in and like things like that, but you just got to keep working at it and it's okay to have those days, but remember to pull yourself out as well. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> Younger me, so proud of you that you kept going and I'm going to keep going to build up on the pro progress that you already made for uh, for me and for us, I guess. It's kind of weird talking to yourself, but like, I'm gonna keep building on that progress and not let you down and we're gonna get through this. I don't think I've ever cried in one of these videos before. <laughs> it's totally okay to cry, you know, but I'm kind of an ugly crier, so... 
And you know what I think is after two more years I'm gonna be in an even better place and I'm not gonna let anything take that away from me. So remember that it's not the end no matter how hard it is and everything will turn up okay and you just need to take one day at a time it's okay to have your hard days yeah just keep going you got this whatever it is you're going through like if you ever feel like no one loves you or you're alone know that you're not alone there are people out there who love you you just may not realize it in the moment things will always get better as you keep going i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> you've got this